As a GPT builder, a really powerful tool you have in your toolbox is Actions, which let you connect to an external API outside of ChatGPT. If you can't find a public API to do what you need, you have to build your own. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to build your own custom API to use in your GPT. We're gonna build it using a combination of fast API and then deploy it to Vercel. And everything we're doing in this video, you can deploy for free. Now there's hundreds of different ways you can create your own API, but this way works well for me. It has some really nice built-in features that I'll show you along the way that can dramatically speed up your development workflow. Let's get right into it. The first step is we wanna get a shell of the API working locally. I'll put a link to this project in the description of this video, and it has a requirements.txt file, so you can just do a pip install, and then it'll install all the requirements for you. Now we can just run it, and we can use uvacorn to run it locally. In the readme file, I put in the command to run, so just copy that to your command prompt. And now it'll host the API on its own service locally, and you just click on this link to get to the server. So when you open up that local host, it takes you to a page where you can go to the docs. And that's one really nice thing about Fast API. It actually just builds this documentation for you. So on this starter code, I have two different endpoints. One's a get, which is a get profile and one's a post which is to send an email. So the other nice thing is you can actually just test this out right from here. If you open this up and you can just say try it out. This is just a shell of a method so like you can put anything in the email and it executes it comes back with the uh, email sent successfully. So this is great. We got this API working locally. And if we look at the code itself you can see it's so easy to get these paths set up in fast API. So for example, for get, you just say at app.get and for a post, you say at app.post and then just give it the name of the endpoint and then just define your parameters. So for this example, I'm just returning a message that says email was sent successfully and then passing the email that was sent in back as a response. But when you set this up for whatever your use case is, you can just update this code in here, you know, to actually send the email or whatever you wanna do. So next you wanna take that local project that's working and upload it to GitHub. It's a private repository. This is the first step to get something deployed to the internet that can be used by the GPT. Next, we wanna have our account set up at Vercel and have a link to the GitHub account that created that last project. Now we can simply say add new project and then import the Git repository. Just give it a name and say deploy. All right, really quickly deployed it and actually just visit the site. And now we should see the same screen we saw we deployed it locally. So now test it out again and make sure it's working right on Vercel. So everything's up and running and working perfectly. So now back in ChatGPT, we're in our GPT and you say create new action. And here's where you put the schema in. And to do that, we need the definition of this API in a certain format for OpenAI. And another really nice feature about Fast API is if you go up to the top here, you'll see underneath Fast API, it's, it's got an openapi.json. So it actually already builds you the OpenAI format. So copy that. And if we just paste that in and say format, it's gonna tell us that it could not find a valid URL in servers. So that means the schema is good, but it doesn't know where to look for the live API. So we just need to add the server section to the JSON file. And you can actually ask ChatGPT to make this for you. If you go back in Vercel, you can just copy this link and this is the one you want the, to the root of the API. So just paste that in there. And then you see that right away, the two available actions came up. So these are the two endpoints we have, the get profile and the send email. This is looking good. You can actually just test it right here. So let me do a test on the get profile. So always allow that. So there we can see it. It successfully called the API and it just made up an example email, which had no profile configured in our starter API function. So let me just take that profile did configure and tell it to use that. And there it is, it talked to the Vercel deployed API, got all that profile information and printed it out nicely. Everything's hooked up and working perfectly. And one more added bonus for doing it this way that really speed up your workflow is you can build this API locally. Like I showed you in step one using Uvicorn, do all your changes, wait till you're ready for a version that you want to hook up to your GPT, and then just push it to GitHub. And when you do that, it's gonna automatically deploy to Vercel and it'll be available to use right away in your GPT. So that's a great start. We've got our GPT hooked up to our new API. Now, where do we go from here? Well, obviously the first thing is you need to build the logic into that API to do something useful. And of course you can use ChatGPT to help with this. You can copy that starter code into ChatGPT and then just describe in natural language what you want the API to do. And it will help you generate the Python code to do that. And if you're interested in AI software development, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos on that topic. And also let me know in the comments what kind of API you wanna build. The other thing to update is around security. So right now it's just no authentication which is fine for testing and development. But once you wanna push it to production and actually have it in the GPT store, you're gonna to wanna to have some kind of security on it. So OpenAI gives you two options. You can do an API key or OAuth2. And you can look at the Fast API documentation on how to do that. But let me know if you want me to do a video on it. I hope you're having an amazing day. Talk to you in the next one.